One of the largest IT providers serving the US military industrial complex, Lidos Holdings Inc., experienced a significant cybersecurity breach last week, raising alarms about the security of the establishment's most sensitive files and documents. While Lidos may not be widely known to the public, it is closely connected to major federal agencies like the Pentagon, NASA, and the Department of Homeland Security, DHS, and also collaborates extensively with defense contractors. In 2022 alone, Lidos secured $4 billion in services under contract, making it the largest federal IT contractor of the year. Lidos's primary clientele includes the Department of Defense, DOD, and numerous private corporations with federal contracts accounting for 87% of its revenue. The recent hack resulted in the theft of internal documents, though the source of the breach remains unknown. Leo Homan suggests that this cyber attack is indicative of how modern warfare is conducted, emphasizing digital battles over traditional World War II style conflicts. Experts have linked the stolen and leaked documents from the recent hack to two other breaches that occurred in 2022 at Diligent Corp, a platform utilized by Lidos. Cybersecurity News highlighted the hack's significance, noting that it exposes vulnerabilities in the cybersecurity measures of companies handling critical government information. Bloomberg News reviewed some of the compromised files, which included a variety of formats such as ZIP, MSG, DOC, JPG, PNG, XLSX and PDF, all related to the technical assistance Lidos provides. However, the exact content and nature of these documents remain undisclosed. Lidos has yet to issue a public statement addressing the hack, and the company has refrained from commenting on the stolen information. The hackers responsible have indicated intentions to sell the data in multiple formats, prompting concerns about potential risks to national security. This breach has sparked a broader conversation about the security protocols of government contractors. The repercussions of such data breaches include financial losses, reputational damage, operational disruptions and legal issues. Lidos, which was established in 2013 and later acquired by Lockheed Martin Corp. SIT Business now faces scrutiny over its ability to protect sensitive information. Some critics have expressed skepticism about the government's ability to safeguard national security given its apparent struggle to secure its own infrastructure. Others draw connections between Lidos and CrowdStrike, pointing to concerns about servers in Ukraine and broader geopolitical implications. The increasing frequency of cyber attacks on critical establishments raises questions about the potential for more severe threats, such as an EMP attack that could disrupt the entire grid. 